I am from Zambia, and uh, we run a startup called Teledoctor. So in the US, they have 911. In the UK, they have 999. Here, you have 112. In Zambia and most of Africa, we got nothing. Teledoctor is providing one single line, one single number to access medical care. I tell a doctor, we believe that giving birth should be your greatest achievement, not your greatest fear. For the majority of women in Africa, this is not the case. Their greatest fear has become being pregnant. More than 1,400 women alone in Zambia died due to pregnant-related complications that were completely avoidable compared to three that died in Finland. Tell a doctor is trying to put smiles back on mother's faces. In the picture, you see Nancy, who's pregnant with her second child. Nancy is smiling. Do you know why? She's not scared anymore. Because of Teledoctor's innovation, Nancy is able to access health information as she needs it. Nancy is now able to identify the danger signs of her pregnancy when she needs it. Nancy can speak to a doctor, can chat the doctor, and she can get advice for her whole family as she needs it. How do, is it doing that? How is Nancy able to do that, you might wonder. Well, Nokia might not be producing phones anymore, but they are saving lives in Africa. Phones such as the 310 Nokia are able to, able to connect women to the care once they need it. Now, Nancy might not have a smartphone, but a neighbor has a smartphone. So through her neighbor, Nancy can video chat the doctor, take a shot of whatever illness she has, and the doctor gives advice. Our women are dying because of lack of specialized health care. Our women are dying because of lack of knowledge. Our women are dying because of limited access to health. Tell her doctor says no. Our economic system or our ecosystem compromises telcos that provide us with 10 million customers. Insurance companies provide us with more than 100 clients, 100,000 clients, and institutions provide us with more than 2,500. We are 8,000 plus customers from telcos, 3,000 from insurance companies, and 2,000 from the corporates. Why us? We are the A team. Our team compromises three young childhood friends and one fatherly figure. I am Abel, that's my name. I am CEO and co-founder of Teledoctor. I am a medical doctor myself. 12 years of training as a specialist. As Teledoctor, we are not going to allow mothers to die anymore. If you want to save lives and make money on the side, talk to me after this. Because together, we are ready as Teledoctor, with your help, to command a lion's share of the African health market. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love you. you love your energy. Good work. Um, so Thank could you, could you um, say a bit more about the, the business model? So I mean, who's, how, how does the money actually move, and what are the basis for charging money from the customers? How does it work? Okay. So the current system has got uh, that uh, three approach. So the, the the mothers themselves or the patients basically access healthcare, and we pay, the money they pay is the same money they would pay by calling someone on the same network. So we share money with the mobile company as it is. And then sometimes we have outreaches where certain companies come and pay for those services. We send information to mothers about their danger pregnancies or danger signs of pregnancy, because in Zambia it can take two days sometimes to reach a health facility for you to deliver. Now if you know the danger signs already, you, don't, you have enough time to reach a health facility for your deliveries. Eva, great, great, great presentation. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. At the moment, it sounds like you're trying to tackle the access to information. Are you also now, or is there also some thought behind bringing medicines to these people? Uh, because it sounds like they're very far away from a, from a clinic uh, or any community center. Is that at all in, in part of the model, or is it more purely information to mothers and, and women? Okay, thank you very much. So what you're promoting is both access to information and access to healthcare. 
So we're working with uh, various companies where sometimes, like telcos, they have towers in the various villages. So when they go to those towers to deliver talk time, they help deliver the medicines. And most of the illnesses, like for example malaria, is something that is easily treatable if you had drugs. So we're working with the telcos, they are able to help us deliver the drugs to those deep areas where there is network. No, thank you very much. I mean, who is actually giving this advice? I mean, uh, who are actually the tele-doctors they can call or interact with? Yeah? How many people are behind this and who is doing it? Okay, so the current infrastructure, the, the call center we have, by the way, we speak 73 languages in Zambia. Our call center has seven. So nurse in the picture can speak to the doctor or whoever she's speaking to a medical professional in her own language. And therefore, the information transfer is very good. And so... Now, answering, answering, answering your question, uh, which I've forgotten, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, would you please repeat How the question? How many people are behind it? I mean, tell it oh, yes, who is yes, giving the yes. advice. Yeah. So what we have is that we have, uh, the call centre is able to sit about 12 doctors and then about uh, 15 other paramedics. Now, the call centre is small as it is now, but we have got a uh, technology that searches doctors who are on call but outside the call centre. So the waiting time maximum is 15 seconds. Your call is taken up. So there are others who are outside. And we have got a database of more than 800 doctors who are ready to work in every district and every province of Zambia. So they're working on a volunteering basis? Yes, some of them are working as volunteers, but the other ones are not working on full time, then we are paying them. But how do you pay all this manpower with the cost of the operators or half of the cost of the operators' money? Okay, so so far, like I mentioned about the services, we do corporate wellness, where the money also comes, where we go to a company, this is a company, we come to you, we give us a sitting, we screen all your employees for various ailments, and then we follow them up and provide them with applications that they can use so that we can follow them up on applications. So for example, diabetics, if you come to your, to your, to your office, we, we screen your, your, your employees, then we see how many are diabetics, then we give you a profile, saying that you have 20 people as employees, five are diabetic, no names attached, six and are hypertensive, and then we're able to treat them and then also help you to see how you can make them better. That is the time. Thank you to Teledoctor. Thank you. Thank you.